Hello there, welcome once again to the PGA Show in Orlando, Florida, um, with our review of the five best trade stands in there. So me and Kev have been walking around for the last couple of days, taking a look at everyone that's exhibiting, and these are the five best that we think are in there right now. Right, so first up, Titleist. So yep. this was one of your favourites, right? So yep. tell me why you love that stand. One, I love Titleist. Yep. All right. I um, know this. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Scotty Cameron. We yep. saw him yesterday. Yeah, he was we on did. the stand. Yep. He had some new putters out. Uh, Bob Vokey was there. I saw him yesterday. You know, he's literally the biggest name in, in wedges, isn't he, really? Um, and to, to see that guy, seeing all the different wedges that he's got out there was awesome. The whole stand in general was great. New Pro V1 that's yep. coming out. So there's just so much to talk about. The guys were all there in their nice white jackets as yeah. well. Which is a strange look. <laughs> I can't look. quite get my head around it. I, I, I can't decide whether it's a good thing and I like it or whether it just looks a bit silly. Now, you made a good point that when you go on the tightly stand, you absolutely know the guys who are working yeah, you know, for Titleist, you know that you know away. to go and ask if you want to ask a question, right? Yeah. So yeah, but it's an, it's an impressive stand, hundred percent. It's awesome. Yeah, I thought it was really good. Yeah. So another one we thought was really cool was Travis Matthew. Now it's probably a brand that some of you guys have never even heard of before. Um, it they are part of Callaway now, aren't yep, they? they are. um, so Travis Matthew, really cool clothing brand, life, quite lifestyle yeah, as yeah, well Yeah, they're golf. a bit of a, you know, you wear it to play golf and then you wear it to go to the pub or wear it to go and have a drink with your mates or, you know, it's kind of on and off the course yeah. range of clothing. And actually, yeah, I was lucky enough to go to their head office when uh, I was out with uh, Callaway in December and it's just a really cool brand. And their stand here yeah. is and just brilliant. They were telling us so last cool. year they got in trouble because they were serving beer about four o'clock in the afternoon. Apparently there's a rule that five o'clock is you kind of cut off for that and um so what have they done so basically they've made their stand look like a prison because they got <laughs> in trouble last year so they've got two girls dressed as cops at the front and all the uh travis matthew staff in there dressed as inmates yeah. aren't they they've so got barbed wire around barbed wire the around top. the top there's it's even a booth where you can have your yeah. mugshot taken and all that kind of stuff um so yeah it's really really cool um stand there that you know is a bit of a tongue-in-cheek look at the yeah. show as well and you know how they've been a little bit naughty last year so but really, i think really also good. in their stand there's just loads of fun stuff as well so they've got a pool table in there and um, they've got basketball a little hoop. basketball yeah, hoop. That was cool. it's just loads of fun stuff that i think really kind of that's what that brand is all about it really and i think it really captures that pretty well yeah it was, it was really good really really good cobra that was one for me that I absolutely loved. Uh, a bit like you with Titleist, so I really like the Cobra product. I love the F9 driver. And I, I really like the story with that, going through the clothing yeah. to the hardware, uh, all of all Bryson's trophies in there. Um, it was just, and it was just a really cool stand, the range right at the back. So yeah. they had four or five guys fitting people on Trackman. They had five Trackmans going, fitting people. It was just. It was just a really cool stand. It was pretty noisy. Yeah, it was. I, I said, I think it's probably my favourite that, yeah. that we went to, just purely from a, they, they've got literally pride of place there as you walk in. Um, it's, I mean, it's towards the back of the, of the yeah. sort of it's about room left when you come corner, in. But isn't it? it, you know, like you say, you, you can go in two ways. Yeah. One way takes you through the clothing and um, the sort of soft good side of it, and yeah. the other way takes it, and it, you can hear it's all like racing car noise going yeah. off, and pictures of, of the speed of the driver and, and all that like, kind of yeah, thing. It's pretty cool. They've obviously got Ricky, Bryce, and Lexi yeah. all plastered everywhere. Um, yeah, I think as a brand story, that for me, I think was cool. the best. Yeah. Um, and the fact that, like you say, it led out onto the range, so there's people testing product. Yeah, and you know, it, it was just really cool. Yeah, it? yeah. It so next up on our list is Adidas. Now, took some finding. It was right down the bottom of the yep. convention centre, wasn't it? It was literally as far as you can go without getting to the food court, but big stand. Um, what did you think of it? 
Um, I really liked it. I like the fact that they had coffee, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. um, we went there, in the, we family. went there in the morning, and it just was just infinite coffee. It was so like an oasis. It was an oasis for <laughs> coffee addicts like myself. Um, but yeah, I just really like, like the flow of it, the different ranges that are in different spots, the shoes they've got this year, I think, are amazing, yeah, awesome. which I've worn. The new uh, 360. Yeah, some of the guys were saying, how, yeah. how can we Why have you got those, got on those shoes on? Yeah, now I've, I've worn them for the last two days, all day, and they've been great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, re I really like that stand. And, and actually, they've got, got some really interesting products, I think, for yeah, this year. Yeah, I thought seeing the Adi Pure stuff. Yeah, that's um, really which nice. You don't really get to yeah. see much. And the Adi Cross, which is like the lifestyle y kind of stuff. Yeah. I've not seen that in any shop so far. So to see it all laid out and merchandised properly, I thought it was really cool. So yeah, Adidas, really good. So last but not least, and it's probably the biggest stand here at the PGA Show, yeah. and that has to be Callaway. Callaway Village. Ca I mean, yeah. they must, I and mean, their, their stand goes from one end to the other. Yeah, just and the complete width of the completely, convention center. I mean, it is huge, but it's awesome as well. I mean, it's it looked, um, I mean, it's proper breathtaking, isn't it? It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, they've got so much to shout about. Yeah, they've they? got I mean, a lot of stuff to shout Lab about. From Stroke Lab with Toulon and the Odyssey models, they've got the new Apex Iron range, which they've made a big feature of. They've got the PM Grind Wedge, and they've obviously got Epic Flash, which yeah. is everywhere. Uh, new golf ball, they've got the Magna and the ERC, so there's just tons yeah. of stuff. And then next to that, they've about. got all the Ogeo Yeah, absolutely. Bags and Luggage, all that golf I mean, bags, everything. And then apparel, apparel, apparel yeah. footwear. It's huge. massive. I mean, the, they needed the width of the convention center to fit all that stuff in, yeah. and it, you know they've done a great job of it. And, and they also, I was very, very fond of the carpet on the Callaway yeah, oh, side. Oh yeah, it's plush, wasn't it? Really thick, thick pile. Really thick Beautiful. pile. Beautiful. Like, I would like <laughs> yeah. to take that to my house, yeah. or just take my shoes off in yeah, there shoes off and, and walk, walk around the barefooted, Callaway because it was just beautiful. It was, lovely. But um, yeah, the golf stuff they had on display was brilliant. And the way that they had it, um, you know, all the TV screens, all the videos, the stuff they were playing, was all just super, super cool. Yeah, it was really Which cool. fits with their product line for this year, I Absolutely. think. So there we have it. There's our five favourite exhibitions here at the 2019 PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando. Uh, I hope that gave you a really good insight into the stuff we've been able to see. Obviously, it's only a little snapshot, but hopefully it gave you some insight into what's here at the PGA Show. So, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Golf State channel, click the button down there, subscribe, and you'll get to see loads more content just like this, not just from the PGA Show, but all around the new products, tuition and golf course reviews as well. So I hope you enjoyed and we will see you all again soon. Bye. <laughs>